Hello. Today I've got a Danish coffee table made by a famous company in the mid-century and I've been using it as a coffee table in my house but I've decided it's just too big. The size of it is 135 by 85 and I've decided it would be more suitable for a dining table. To do this I've got to take the legs off, put different legs off on, on course and at the same time I'm going to strip the varnish off the table because the surface is damaged on different parts and because it's solid wood this isn't a problem. I can sand it without any problem at all and I don't have to be too careful because it's solid wood. Now I'm going to show you what the surface looks like. So as you can see just of here, around here it's all scratched, here there's a huge scratch mark and it's gone right in the mark so I've got to take a few millimetres out of this table to get them done right and it's also very patchy, I don't know whether you can see, sometimes it's the, the varnish is lighter over here and it's a lot darker around here. So. Just so there you can see how patchy the varnish is. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to take the legs off this table. But to do that, I need some help. So I'm going to ask my husband to come and help me to turn the table. Hello. So I'm going to turn the table up. And lucky enough, this table has legs that are just turned in. So I'm going to unscrew the legs now, all four of them, take them all off. Okay, leg off. I'm going to do that now with all four before I carry on sanding the table down. The legs are off and I'm ready to sand. I've got a round sander with a paper 80. I'm going to sand three times, first of all with 80, then with 120 and then fine sanding with 180. So I'm just going to start. I've sanded the whole area down with an 80 grit paper and now before I carry on I'm going to put some, get some water, I've got some water and a cloth and I'm going to wipe the surface down. This enables me to see where there's any lap rests on there or varnish rests on there to see if anything's marked um, it will all show up now when I've put the water on it will slowly sh show up and I can say okay I've got to sand there a bit more I've got to sand here a bit more so I put the water on all over the tabletop and once I've done that I can then go on and use 120 grit paper and sand again this time though, I have to be careful. I have to sand first of all the edges. Now to do the edges is a little bit difficult. You need a little bit of practice to get this curve right. So I suggest before you even try it on your table, you actually try it on a piece of wood and practice a few times. How can I get this curve so that it looks nice and even? Otherwise you will get an edge that's not, not straight. You need to practice doing this curve on a piece of wood. So I am now going to Finish watering this off and then let's get on to the 120 grit paper to sand. We've decided to have a change of scenery now, we've come outside. This is where we're going to do the final sanding, the 180 paper. For this my husband's going to do it. We've now turned the tabletop over and we've placed the legs into position, the hairpin legs. And now I'm going to show you how far we've placed the hairpin legs from the edge of the table. They're about five centimetres away on both sides, five and five. And now we're going to drill holes in these three holes 
the three outside holes and put the screws in. do that with the rest of the three legs. Wondering what that was, that was the compressed air that we've just blown off the dust off the table. It's easier than just wiping it off, it's just a lot cleaner as well. And now we're going to add our finish onto the table. We're going to use a hard wax oil. We don't like varnish. Varnish you have to take a lot of care with and the hard wax oil brings just as well a finish and it's a lot quicker and easier. We have to apply it twice. Mm -hmm. Go on. As you can see, there's no particular direction that we have to use. You can go in any direction, circles, round. But you have to be careful that you don't get too much on, so spreading it out evenly, making sure we get a nice finish. Now the first hard wax oil has gone on. And now we're just going to rub across the whole table again just to make sure we've got all the surplus oil off the table and then it can dry evenly. And while he's doing that, if you'd like to press the like button or subscribe down below, we'd be very grateful. So once he's finished, one or two areas that I can see that he's still not quite done, he's nearly finished, then we have to let it dry for about an hour before we apply the next lot of hard oil and this is the finished product totally different to what it was before it's not scratched anymore no more marks on it and it's now our dining table which we think looks really good